With the pandemic, you know, there's a lot of families that are really struggling financially. A lot of people lost employment or were unable to continue employment, whether it be because of the restrictions or just them themselves being at risk. With back to school just around the corner, many parents in Winnipeg are feeling the financial pressures of going back to in-class learning. With new outfits, school supplies, lunches, and much more, there's one non-for-profit in the 204 looking to lessen the burden. We're just trying to create a, a, a fairly complete bundle to provide families in need. Um, and basically each backpack will be filled with your basic needs, whether it's, uh, you know, pencil crayons or ruler, calculator, scissors, loose leaves, binders, um, pencils, pens, like just your, your generic, um, every age group kind of requires different things. So we try to keep it pretty uh, generic. Community 204 is a non-for-profit organization that does any and everything to give back to the community. From helping people move to making sure they get something to eat, their motto is helping is healing, helping is medicine. And in October, they will turn one. They put up a post on Facebook and Instagram, and just like that, 40 backpacks were created with donations from many Winnipeggers. A wonderful response from the community it was just everyday people. Um, I've done a few different types of, of volunteering outlets, and people just want to help. And sometimes they don't always know how. So as soon as I put the call out, we received several e-transfers. Uh, pretty much every single day that I come home, there are school supplies sitting on my doorstep. Because there is such a need, they will be drawing names and posting the winners on social media Saturday, September 4th. Anyone can enter on the Community 204 Facebook or Instagram pages. The choice to do a back-to-school drive seemed obvious, especially given the majority of volunteers in the organization. We're comprised mostly of youth that were uh, products of the child welfare system, and, and they could be doing anything else, and it's important that people know they're the heartbeat of everything that we do. They will also continue to accept any donations to help bridge the gap for need in the community. In Winnipeg, Brian Foley, City News.